Uh, we back at part three of Nature of a Remedy by Jim Rivers and Obi Wan Kenobi, as published in American Bulletin, July, August two thousand six. <clears throat> uh, we at ten ninety nine OID notes on. November 17, 2005, page 6. It can be seen from the chart that gold increases from grantor to the Federal Reserve. This is showing the use of derivatives to enlarge the super fund. But for the bill to return to the Federal Reserve via the U.S. agent, the Federal Tax Form 1099-OID is needed to identify the currency as revenue and not tax delinquent dollars. This simply means the issue identified by 1099 must return to the source before the resulting property can be returned or released to the owner because whoever is the agent who receives the return to source must pay the amount to the owner at owner's request to balance his books. So, it is the issue returning to source that brings the charge to neutral, thereby the amount paid out to owner is tax paid dollars prepaid and debts are gone from the account. The exemption is merely the tax charge going to zero in the agent's trust account after returning to the owner the tax paid dollars. The agent doesn't get the exemption until actually paying the owner, although he probably assumes he has it. So, this is the reason Federal Tax Form 1099 OID should be volunteered to display the assumption with the fact. The request for your agent to file Federal Tax Form 1099 OID on a particular issue identifies the agent as a tax protester. If he fails to do as you ask, ye have not because ye ask not. Ye have not because ye ask not. Mm, you gotta ask. The problem is with the whole numbers we have had in dollars that the H and uh, Joint Resolution, House Joint Resolution 192 chart shows as expansion of gold increase. But the increase that occurs or seems to occur because of so many more dollars to re represent a particular property item, even though there are more dollars representing the value of a particular property, the property is still the same and has not increased like the dollars seem to have increased. So the problem is to realize that there are two different values put on a dollar. As one is U.S. dollar expressed, as one is U.S. dollars expressed in whole numbers and the other in revenue expressing international units of revenue leveraged by brokers and attorneys by derivatives attached a municipal tax account and increasing the debt by zero 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 adding the three zero to multiply the revenue into international units of revenue. Thus there is an illusion of inflation and expansion of the property value when actually what happens is the account goes inverse and the numbers being negative go forever small thus the small claim in a small claims court 
it seems we must go from our old values of whole dollars into the new value of revenue. As the increased number identified a property that was represented by lesser dollars of earlier or prior issue, thus priority. So, here we find the reason for voluntary reporting of a tax to charge a return to source. Thus, the tax is charged to close the circuit where there was no charge before because it was assumed and thereby no charge. It was trumped up to accuse the victim with an assumed uh, probable cause to force to forces the accused victim to voluntarily accept charge a tax return as a matter of fact to displace the assumed charges which is no charge that continues as a tax deferred debt until the tax charge in fact returns the issue to the source Thus, the reason to act for Federal Tax Form 1099 OID be filled on the issue. That request identifies the particular issue as a delinquent tax, which changes to whole numbers of value to international units of revenue, which the prior dollars have been multiplied by 1,000 as a mill, as a mill levy to increase revenues in the international community. It is a voluntary request for the Federal Tax Form 1099 OID that identifies the energy charge in the property to enable an identification of private property to be made. Without that request voluntarily, the particular issue in question is assumed to be public property and the prior debt continues on in a tax deferral of some sort, gathering interest, increasing the national domestic debt. So the biggest problem I see is that people have all these theories found in research of the statutes but they fail to grasp what happened to a dollar when its value changes 1,000 times itself. One must volunteer the tax information so the issue, the body, does not fall into execution of law. Executions are unlawful as the tax 1099 is not mandatory, so they must be voluntary to enable the tax the tax issue to return to source and settlement and closing in exchange can occur this cannot occur by an execution public law by but by agreement because the renderer does not live in false claim if we agree and accept the probable cause alleged and request Federal Tax Form 1099 OID to tax the issue back to the source, there is no longer a false claim, and the debt can be rendered by the tax returning the circuit escrow to close in settlement. Let's say a debt from a mortgage is the issue. Mortgage, $1,000. Mortgage is sold to new owner who multiplies to 1,000 times zero, zero, zero. So million dollars equals a million. The million dollars is the new value on the body, property, for which community? Serves, obtains grants, block grants, in lieu of the taxes they can no longer pass bonding issues in the local community. The people vote them down. The funds are raised by assuming tax revenues from the victim's municipal tax liability, from which they obtain cash advances by bidding and holding mutual funds that provide liquid funds for public use deferrals while the victim's account in the municipality has been charged as collateral on the advance 
a tax liability. Block grants are funds with foreign credit, which enables the agents provocateurs to use the credit of their political enemies to carry out their sinister purpose. Are we not foreign to the public being private? Then whose credit has gone into the block grants? Are these from H&R Block, H&R Block stock trading in the market? So unless there is a voluntary request for reporting the said tax, there is no fact to identify property free from tax liability. So no matter what sort of ration, rationalizing one does to use administrative and court procedures to set off or set aside or otherwise discharge the debt obligation to dispose of the debt, one cannot get rid of the debt because the public has no mandatory powers to redeem their issues, but only use deferrals to declare the debt paid, but is only deferred into the hands of someone who agrees to hold the debt in whatever type the interest-bearing debt is placed. <clears throat> So the one option to all of this is to volunteer. A request to file Federal Tax Form 1099-OID to charge the tax on the issue for its return to the source. Now there is a fact to take the charged instrument, uh, the charged issue into account and dispose of the debt by the balance going to zero. Now some of the administrative procedures might work because the dollars have been taken from the old venue, U.S. dollars, and reissued into a new revenue as international units, a small claim, eligible to file for tax recovery in small claims court. So one can see the old venue dollars do not have the same relative value to particular property that the revenue had. As the county has taken all their tax accounts and so or traded them for revenue measured in international units that are mutual funds valued in this assessment multiplied by 1,000. These dollars of revenue are now a small claim because they are voluntarily identified in the request for federal tax form 1099 OID to tax the particular issue back to the source and are eligible in small claims court to sue for tax recovery and obtain a judgment to enforce the return to source. I cannot stress this enough that it takes the individual effort to request Federal Tax Form 1099-OID to be filed on the issue to make it a small claim. Any other effort, any other effect leaves the dollars in the account delinquent because they do not have the means to become a small claim unit the principal accused requests the tax be reported and taken into the new venue called revenue. After this occurs, then the dollars can be sought into small claims court. After this occurs, then the dollars can be sought into small claims court in a tax recovery action. In a tax recovery action. In a tax recovery action. But... Without the request for the tax report 1099, the dollars are delinquent contraband because they have not been identified as tax revenue and they are not eligible as a small claim to enforce recovery. They must go to the source dollar for dollar 
to fulfill. They say HDR 192 as a matter of public policy. And then what happens? The property expressed by that debt becomes free of debt. The foregoing explanation might not be perfect in its identification of the subject's relative matters, but it should improve your outlook on the problem. More thoughts on the 1099 OID January 9th. 2006. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, more thoughts on the 1099 OID January 9, 2006. Let us discuss the nature of what sets the perimeters for the tax for a tax return. The word return means to go the opposite way. And we have always thought of taxes as indeed something we paid and sent away from us. So, if that be so, then to return would come back to us. So the word withdrawal or withdraw would be an expression that describes this. But first, one should examine a tax in relation to return if our uh, opinions if our opinions assumes If our opinions assume, assume they are exempt from tax, they also assume they are, I know it's supposed to be liable, liable for the same. So if the opinions assume they are exempt from taxes, they are also assumed they are liable for the same. Thus, they accuse us thinking we must pay. So we need to identify the source of a taxable revenue so we know where to return to source as per the purpose of Federal Tax Form 1099 OID that suggests the source belongs to us and the 1099 report confesses the return to the source. So, now, we need to prove this in both federal and state positions on this. This then puts the matter under the superintendent of the federal project to regulate the funds from the source into commercial use and then back to source. You remember my mention of a block grant that is used by a county attorney to use the credit block, your and my foreign credit. We are foreign to the attorney at bar to purchase the mutual fund that in turn uses the funds to purchase mutual bonds that they claim are exempt from state and municipal taxes, but they are not exempt from federal taxes. Thus, Federal Tax Form 1099 OID, it is these funds that finance all the products that bills arise from in the municipal construction contracts and related federal projects. The municipal funds are the source for which the tax returns to. But remember, it was our credit that the county attorney used to purchase these same said funds. So when we volunteer to file, report, federal tax form 1099 OID for the issue to return to source, we have sent. The confession back to source, and since it is only a confession 
and there is no money. As per HDR 192, we are entitled to a tax refund because the confession admits the amount of tax but does not pay any. So the principal is eligible for a tax refund. It is suggested that H&R Block do the tax report and provide you with a advance on the tax refund, but no doubt they will demur or otherwise dishonor the request. So now the dishonor has the bills incorporated into the negative, into the negative contract and identify the principal, both negative and positive identified. The dishonor is the contract in fact and eligible for one to ask the H&R block agent to place the request for federal tax form 1099 OID B file on the issue for return to the source and issue an advance on the tax return. The H&R block agent can now be asked to place the request with the supervisor to complete as said above. The supervisor is the agent of the superintendent of the federal project and the H&R block agent has the obligation to file but refuses to create the dishonor which is eligible for the supervisor to enter the super fund, municipal and mutual fund for the advance requested. So the superintendent of the federal project is where the federal tax authority comes from as the state cannot create their own species. Thus, it is the supervisor who has the authority to enter the super fund for the tax refund. He has the super vision to see the small claim expressed in international units of revenue. Now the body can see, is that a bill of lading? It might help to remember that the individual accounts that are derived derivatives from the tax rolls of a municipality are considered residents, residents thereof and it is their credit that is blocked into and with the federal grant being as federal credit of political enemies that is used by the county attorney to purchase the mutual funds that substantial that subsequently funds the municipality for all their social and reckon mechanical constructive construction projects technically regulated and are governed by the Corp of Engineers, Army Corp of Engineers, the Social Security number as an electronic profile terminal is possible, is probably the transmitting utility. The Social Security number as an electronic profile terminal is probably the transmitting utility. The Social Security number as an electronic Profile terminal is probably the transmitting utility. This is all under the superintendent of the federal project, a supervisor, governor of the fund. But now, to further understand how this is organized, is to identify who and what the Army engineers really are. When Abe Lincoln pressed the Civil War on the Confederate States, it was to preserve the Union. Now, what the Union is that, is it not the Union of Operating Engineers who have exclusive credit to bid on municipal construction projects, thus first access to municipal funds for approved projects, and are not the NATO forces of Europe, the Union, deployed in foreign service. Thus, we have the merger 
of a metric system of Europe with our system, the metric system being negative numbers going into infinity and is not this negative connection union the nexus for electronic fund transfer between public and private bank accounts. Euro funds on dollars or US dollars in private accounts. <clears throat> Let's see how much battery life. Uh, we got enough. So, uh, so, with that in mind, it appears that the Euro dollar will express in international currency because the metric system represents the euros on the east side of the decimal point and the u.s currency is on the west side expressed in one whole numbers somehow i suspect this nexus or union is bound together for the one world order one money order thus equal partners where credits equal debits bound into contract by designer and the resulting designer being the contract in fact and contains the bill admitting the particular issue from the source mutual fund and the acceptance of the bill via request for following federal tax form 1099 OID on the issues for return to the source. It appears that the bill is in national currency, asking for national currency, but since we are dispossessed, HGR 192, we admit, accept the bill and its promise to pay by request for filing federal tax form 1099 OID on a particular issue and ask for an advance on the tax refund. It is the union nexus that connects or binds the negative agreement together, this honor, to enable the electronic transmission to pass through the source and return to the source both credit and debit, both credit and debt now joined together in one holy union of wedlock. Thus, one world order for a refund in international units of revenue from euro into U.S. national currency. The block grant used by the county attorney to block our foreign credit identifies the three wise men coming from the east to fund the particular issue when referring to foreigners and since we rely on employees to conduct our business, we request them to file Federal Tax Form 1099 OID on the issue for return to source and advance the tax refund. Three wise men, zero, zero, zero. Three bags full. The promise to pay is made by the banker, our banker. And he is the taxpayer, but for our account. And the bank is regulated by the superintendent of the federal project. So it is the Army Corps of Engineers, the union, that does the electronic transfer via a supervisor who has supervision to enable him to see the small claim and give an advance on the refund. I think in advance may be the only way one can get settlement on the issue because the promise to pay is a Federal Reserve note and that is a future event. So it is the advance that moves us to the future of that promise. The pass over is the exchange of the bill for the bond passing over, not through the promise, promised land, which in a foreign land, thus euros. So the union holds the bill and bond together in one world order to establish the refund to be made or the advance on the same. So with that sense,
So with that scene in mind, you might be able to see that a T-bill and a T-bar together make up a T-note, promissory note, and that is the union of the T-bill and T-bar, foreign and domestic, that equals the promise to pay. These two opposing items are bound together in dishonor, and that fact thereby admits the promise to pay the sum. The summary to court, small claims, etc., thus the shotgun wedding, the honor and dishonor of a commercial contract is one opposed to the other. The first is in the venue and the other is the revenue or revenue. The honor of a contract is in national currency. The dishonor is an international contract measured in international units of revenue. The dishonor is eligible to request the supervisor make the settlement as he, she, is authorized to enter the super fund for the closing as that is under the superintendent of a federal project. When we're going to come back, we're on page 12, notes on 1099 OID, January 21st, 2006. We ain't got that much left to this book, y'all. I can't go in, I can't show y'all the letters. Well, I can show you the letters, but I won't read the letters. I can show you the letters, but I won't read the letters. I can, but I won't. We're going to be back. Uh, this is Nature of a Remedy. <laughs>